Top 10 Australia's Most Dangerous Spiders The Oceanic country is famous for hosting a wide variety of animals considered some of the most lethal on the planet. One of those is spiders, with which thousands of species in the ecosystem are a constant threat to Australians and visitors. Next, come discover the most dangerous of all. Number 10. Huntsman Spider It is also known as the giant crab spider because of its strong and hairy appearance. It's 5.9 inches in length. Due to its fast movements to hunt, it can mean a threat to anyone. But at the same time, it can become an ally at home that eliminates insects like cockroaches. They do not usually weave a network. Therefore, it will be usual to see them roaming free on the walls. Normally, they are shy to such an extent that they run away from the human presence. But if they are bothered, we guarantee they will not hesitate to attack. Especially if it's the female taking care of her eggs. Its bite is painful and produces some unpleasant effects such as nausea, headache, and palpitations. Although fortunately, its poison is not deadly. Perhaps the greatest danger posed by hunting spiders is their habit of entering cars and generating accidents after unexpectedly terrorizing drivers. Be careful! Number 9. Common Garden Orb Weaver Spider The name of this spider tells us practically everything about it. It is a common species of multiple sizes, shapes, and colors that measures between 0.59 and 1.18 inches long. We can find it in gardens where it is strategically located between bushes to weave its nets in places where light hits and insects are trapped. It is characterized by a bulging abdomen, much like that of garden spiders around the world. Unlike the European one, the Australian orb weaver is active at night and during the day it rests. It is preferable not to disturb them since, in this country, they are the most impulsive arachnid species, responsible for the greatest number of bites. The symptoms are localized pains and inflammations, which ultimately would not lead to increased risk if treated promptly by a doctor. You know, they are very aggressive when they intend to be. Respect them! Number 8. Wolf Spider Wolf spiders are members of the Lycosidae family, and in Australia, it is estimated that there are more than 400 species. They live in the suburbs, inside burrows covered with fallen leaves between the gardens. They measure from 0.39 to 1.37 inches long. They are characterized by being very agile hunters with excellent vision. Their favorite prey are frogs and other insects. They usually live alone and, like huntsman spiders, do not weave nets. Their bites are capable of producing great pain in red welts, followed by other effects such as pulse acceleration, nausea, and dizziness. Undoubtedly, they are discomforts that nobody wants to suffer, but luckily, until now, there have been no deaths in record. On the other hand, apparently if the wolf spider bites a dog or cat, it would cause death within 30 minutes. Can you imagine it? Number 7. Black House Spider Recognized also as the common black spider, it is often found inside the house in the window frames and outside of it in between the trunks of trees and some cracks. The female grows up to 0.7 inches and males 0.39 inches. These robust and dark creatures weave their funnel-shaped nets near the lighting to catch their prey. Many times these spider webs look somewhat extensive and messy so they are the reason for people to come into contact with this arachnid. It is characterized by being quite self-conscious and only leaves its nest to hunt and immediately returns. Its bite generates unbearable pain and local swelling. The subsequent effects are nausea, vomiting, sweating, and vertigo. In some cases, skin lesions may develop after multiple bites. Surely, the latter is what many try to avoid because a few ice packs will not alleviate it. Number 6. Australian Tarantulas They are the largest and heaviest arachnids in the oceanic country. Its body length is 2.36 inches, and the extension of its legs reaches the striking measure of 6 inches. 
They live in burrows near rocks or trunks and feed on insects including other spiders, lizards, and frogs. All thanks to the power of their 0.39 inch tusks, similar to that of some snakes. Amazing! They are also called bird-eating spiders, although they rarely feed on them. There are several groups of which four predominate. Selenocosmia, Selenotholus, Selenotypus, and Phologelus. However, it is believed that there is still a lot more to identify. Its poison is not as strong, but a bite is painful. Some symptoms that can occur are nausea and vomiting for hours, in addition to fever. It is possible that the popularity of having these dangerous tarantulas as pets increases the rate of bites. Number 5. Trapdoor Spider This creature bears his name in reference to the strategy it uses. Camouflage the entrance of its burrow to deceive its prey by making them fall into it. It is found in the natural and urban areas of Australia. It measures between 0.59 and 1.18 inches long, with the female being generally larger than the male. While many spiders live on average for a couple of years, ocean trappers can live up to 20. Wow! Males tend to be the most aggressive, raising terror in those who voluntarily or involuntarily represent a threat. Sometimes they are mixed up with other types of dangerous arachnids because of their undoubtedly painful bite. Therefore, it is recommended that these be treated by a doctor, even when they only produce the typical effects such as inflammation and general discomfort. Take precautions if you do not want to be bitten by one of these astute spiders. It really hurts! Number 4. White-tailed spider. They get this name because of the white area at the end of their abdomen. The common species are Lampona cylindrata and Lampona murina, which inhabit the south and east of Australia respectively. Its body can measure up to 0.7 inches, and its legs can be 1.1 inches long. The white-tailed spiders are not characterized by weaving a net, and, unlike burrowing spiders, prefer to go out at night to poison their prey and then eat them. Just because they are nomads, they have a habit of wandering and can be found inside a house between the folds of clothes, towels, and even shoes. This inevitably puts them in contact with humans and explains why their bites have a high reporting rate. Although human flesh is far from being his favorite, it was believed that his bite could release necrotizing venom that kills tissues of the skin and causes open ulcers. However, scientific studies denied this extreme possibility. Anyway, these eight-legged creatures don't cease to be a threat everywhere. Its white spot is not a symbol of peace. Stay attentive! Number 3. Mouse Spider There are eight species in Australia. The red-headed mouse spider is the most common of all. These creatures measure between 0.39 and 1.37 inches in length and live in burrows, usually near water channels such as rivers. They are quite sedentary, since females tend to enjoy the tranquility of their hiding spots, while males usually wander in search of them in mating season. Most choose to be active during the day, although there are those who prefer to go out at night to avoid the heat. Its powerful jaws and large fangs allow it to hunt small mammals as well as insects. This species has no problem devouring mice or lizards. It's no surprise it's considered one of the most dangerous arachnids in the oceanic country. Its poison is highly toxic, so the same first aid treatment that is recommended for the bite of a funnel web spider should be provided. It is anti-venom that, fortunately, has also been shown to be effective for the aggressive bite of the mouse spider. This is encouraging, but don't forget that the poison is really lethal. Number 2. Redback Spider Immediately recognizable by the red stripe on the top of its abdomen, this is a spider you cannot play with. The female is larger than the male, measuring 0.39 and 0.15 inches respectively. Although they don't have an intimidating size, due to their small size and great agility, they are difficult to detect, which makes the danger factor greater. It resides in dry and hidden places such as garden sheds, mailboxes, kitchen cabinets, and toilet seats. The red-backed spider feeds on insects, other spiders, lizards, and rarely on some snakes. The bite record of this arachnid is approximately 2,000 per year, with females being the most ferocious. 
Its sting, in addition to generating persistent pain, can be deadly, since its venom is a neurotoxin that affects the nervous system. Subsequent effects, which depend on the severity of the person attacked, can be nausea, malaise, and lethargy. The cupboard chandeliers have sometimes been confused by the similar symptoms they produce, although ultimately their poison is less potent. But wait, don't panic yet, there is an anti-venom that was created in the 1950s. And since then, the fatalities of the red-backed spider have been reduced to almost zero. Number 1. Sydney Funnelweb Spider It is the most dangerous spider in Australia, owner of a highly toxic poison that it produces in large quantities. It lives in forests and urban areas, preferably in hidden and humid places. Its body length is between 0.4 and 2 inches. The females are sedentary since they remain inside their burrows, where the entrances are framed by the characteristic fabric of the species in the form of a funnel. On the other hand, males are more active, especially after the summer rain, when they begin to wander looking for a partner. It is then when they can come in contact with humans, easily coming into a backyard or even falling into a pool. It is not common to see them, but they can be quite aggressive when threatened. When attacking, the spider will cling to its victim, biting it repeatedly. Its fangs are larger than those of the brown snake and, moreover, powerful enough to pierce through leather shoes and nails. The male produces the deadliest bite with a poison six times stronger than the female. This neurotoxin attacks the nervous system and alters the functioning of organs in a matter of minutes. The symptoms can be extreme such as muscle spasms, palpitations, vomiting, dizziness, and the swelling of the brain. Luckily, there is an antidote made available in 1981, and since then there have been no human losses. Anyway, keep in mind that the Sydney Funnel Web Spider has been responsible for 13 deaths over the years. These Australian arachnids are really dangerous, don't you think? If you were impressed, like, share, and subscribe to the channel so you do not miss a single video. Until next time!